Hello, everybody. Greetings, fellow LibriVoxers. Hopefully, it's recording. Uh, this is Phil Schoenberg, and I'm. This is one in a series, I hope, of little videos that you can help with. They're called "How I Record." It's to give uh, an insight into the setup for people's houses or, or apartments or whatever they use. Some people may do it in their car. Um, uh, how you record. So maybe we can share our ideas in little short videos and let each other see what's going on. Okay, I'm, luck I'm lucky in a way I have a house. Uh, and so I have a whole room that I picked and I said, okay, I'll make this my recording room. I uh, have a uh, computer, a PC um, sitting on the floor there. Okay. And I use that to record. I also use a monitor and I use a Zoom. Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, Zoom, pardon me. Uh, <laughs> Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti mic. Now you may notice that this has a little pop filter on it. I, I bought this online for a couple of bucks. I love it much better than those bulky ones. Um, when I record, by the way, I always speak past the mic. I set it a little bit to the left. Um, my microphone is on a boom. I've discovered over the years that this is very good for me because when I get tired or when I need to, I can stand up and record. You can't see me, can you? But I'm standing up and I'm looking at my little um, monitor, reading the words right off of there. You'll see how I do that. Now, so I have a PC. I use a, a Blue Yeti. This is a, called a USB microphone, meaning it plugs directly into my computer. There's no big fancy interface. I've tried those, but uh, it, I always come back <laughs> to this because I like the sound. And it's so much easier than all them dials and fiddly things. Some people know how to do that. I don't. So that's my setup. I sit at a desk um, and I look at, my screen. Now, how do I do that? I mean, how do I do it? Let me show you what I'm doing. I want to share my screen. It should be th this right here. This should be seeing, yes, um, Voodoo Planet by Andre Norton. I do not apologize for the books that I read. <clears throat> I like them. Uh, oh, also important part of my thing here is my cup of coffee. When I'm going to record, I bring up the project I'm working on, whether it's a uh, collaborative project, I'll bring that up. If it's mine, I bring it up. This is it right here. I will always read the, what it says here, like for the first section, say, what happens is, oh, I have it up already. Uh, I've, my experience is that it's easiest and it's safest for me to read right off the thing here. For example, I'm going to bring up chapter four. Um, once again, on something else you may see, if you can't see this, I bet you can't. Okay, well, I keep all of my files in one. Uh, file where I can where I can key in. I also record with Audacity, which is the free program, and I save my files as an AUP file. For example, I'm going to read Voodoo Planet Chapter Four. I will start by by you notice. Hopefully, you can see I have my track sitting right here, so I can look at it. Chapter Four of Voodoo Planet by Andre Norton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Pause. You may notice I can see my, wild, my file thing. It's about the right volume. I check up here. Eh, it's about right. Um, when I go to, I'll save my project. I save it as an AUP file. Uh, it's all in the same folder. When I re ready to edit, I bring up my AUP file and I'll show you how I do that. But it's fairly simple. So that's my recording setup. I bring up the file. I read it off the off my screen and whatever. Now, I didn't tell you about my sound deadening blankets. 
I bought these many years ago online. You can't see them, but maybe I can show you. There's part of one. See, I just have them on the wall. They're they're specially made to, to deaden the sound. Uh, you, that don't work, but and it's fairly and they work well. It's not complicated. Just put them out, and I have one on a room divider which slides across. If I want to slide it, I can uh, move it. But it, it that way, that way, and in back of me, which you can't see, is a which you will be able to see is a some foam and some base pad or whatever they call it it's uh the foam by the way i don't know if it does any good or not but i like to think that it's helping deaden the ambient noise out here uh, that's it folks i appreciate you watching that's how phil does it if you do it i'm sure you do it differently please make a short video and show us how you do it what equipment you use and everything else so this will be some video in the series how i record you can do the next one